Hello, my name is Angela Chamberlain and I'm the Vice President of Global Trade Content at Integration Point. This past spring has seen an upturn in regulations impacting duty rates on a global basis. The most recent of these regulations is U.S. Section 301, which affects duty rates on certain products coming from China. This is based on the determination that China's unfair trade practices are a burden on the U.S. commerce. To start, let's take a high-level look at the regulations introduced this year by both the United States and China to increase the duty rates for each of these countries. On March 8th, U.S. announced additional tariffs on both steel and aluminum. To note that this was not just for China, this does apply to other countries as well. China then, on April 2nd, about a month later, increased tariffs for 169 HS numbers only from the United States. These fell into pork and aluminum scrap with a 25% additional duty rate, agricultural and other products at a 15% additional duty rate. A few days later, on April 6, USTR seeks public comment for a list they published of products importing from China that would receive an additional 25% duty increase. And then just most recently, on June 15th, USTR did publish Section 301. This will publish a list of HTS numbers that will have an additional 25% duty rate beginning July 6th. These are the products that we will go into more detail throughout this presentation. If you will notice, there are nine chapters that are impacted with these most recent updates. You will notice, however, though, that steel and aluminum are not part of these additional nine. They are covered as part of Section 232 that was already implemented. If you look at the HTS numbers, you will see the majority of these HTS numbers fall into four different chapters. First, there's Chapter 84, which is nuclear reactors, boilers, machinery, and mechanical appliances. Next is Chapter 85, electrical machinery, equipment, sound recorders, television image, and sound recorders reproducers. Next will be Chapter 90 with optical, photo photographic, and other instruments, and then Chapter 87 with vehicles. As you will see, there's 134 headings with 560 subheadings and 1,662 HTSs that are impacted. Now down below, I have the 10 subheadings that have the most impact by fully qualified HTS number. You will see that in the count column that's on the right. Just as a point of reference, what some of these relate to, for example, the first one that has the most HTS numbers impacted is 852990. These are parts that are used as part of headings 8525 to 8528, which are printed circuit assemblies for television apparatus, radar, radio navigational aid, radio remote controls, and tuners, as well as some other parts for those products. If you continue down, you'll see a couple different subheadings under chapter 84, and then you'll see in 87, it's other vehicles, again, not or capable of being charged or being charged by plugging in to external source of power and on down from there. But this just shows you the subheadings that have the 10 most HTS numbers that are impacted with these recent changes. So what is the overall impact? If you see at the beginning, you'll see 232, the steel and aluminum HTS impact, impacted 803 HTS numbers. Section 301, the China HTS impact is 1,662 HTS numbers for a total of 2,465. I've also included the total number of HTS within the U.S., which is 20,688. And just for a record, that means that 11%, just under 12%, actually, of the HTS numbers are impacted by either Section 232 or 301. Now let's take a look at those same chapters, but let's break it down by volume. How much imports are coming from China for those specific chapters and products? If you'll look on here, on the very far right, I've added in another column called Volume. And what this gives you is the volume for that specific chapter of the products that are now going to be um, taxed additionally at that 25% from China. So you'll see the biggest impact is chapter 84. Again, it has the 937 HTS numbers that are impacted. But you'll notice that $16 billion is being imported currently from China of those products under chapter 84. The next largest chapter is chapter 85 with 
10 billion dollars coming in from China from those products. We have chapter 90 at 4 billion and then chapter 87 at 1 billion. Is a total, it's just under 34 billion is being imported from China for the products that are currently added to section 301. If you look at it across all of the imports from China, currently United States imports about $526 billion from China. This is about 6.41% of the products that are being imported from China will now have this additional duty rate. If you estimate what this would be, now these are again based on the 2017 numbers, but that would be about $8 billion of potential duty impact based on this new Section 301 importing from China. So it's really important that you're watching and maintain this information. With all these ever-changing global regulations, it's very important that companies continue to monitor and stay up to date with the countries that they export and import from. Global Trade Content monitors and updates tariff schedules for over 205 countries and territories on a daily basis. If you would like more information on Section 301 and what happens next, including the timeline for the second list of products that could be subject to this additional duty rate, check out our Straight to the Point video called Section 301, What Happens Next by Karen Lobdell. As always, thanks for listening.